What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and today I wanted to reintroduce you to a game that, if you haven't looked at or you've never seen before, this is probably one of the most underrated games on Steam. Welcome to Angels Fall First. Now, let me tell you about the things that make Angels Fall First special uh, that I don't I've never really seen done by any other game at least not in this way and and not in a way that is this much fun now Angels Fall First is a first person shooter it's kind of like Quake inspired you've got your your standard machine guns and you've got your standard infantry gameplay but here's where things get crazy not only is this an infantry game but this is an infantry game with a full starship tier of gameplay and this means that you can commandeer uh, fighters you can pilot capital ships you can board enemy capital ships you can engage in this almost home world scale battle in space while simultaneously boarding enemy ships and then fighting inside of those enemy ships or on stations or even on entire planets as infantry and it's absolutely a blast now one of the reasons I think this game is really, really great uh, is because it's obviously not one of the most popular games in the world, and it is completely multiplayer. So you can play this game with your friends. You can have a full-player, 64-player server. Um, but the coolest thing about this is that it is one of the few multiplayer games that has full and honestly really, really good AI single-player support and cooperative support as well. So you can play this game, no matter how many people are playing online, you can play this game and have a full battle Angels Fall First experience, no matter how many people are actually playing. And I think that's one of the cool things that really makes this game special. So here, let me just show you off some of the gameplay that's that's really cool. So first off, we're flying as this fighter. Uh, we are currently participating in a massive incursion against this space station. Uh, we're going to have to clear these fighters, defend our carriers, possibly board enemy carriers, destroy them, and then finally board this station uh, and capture this station. All right, so we've got a fighter over here. Let's take care of this guy. Got him. All right, there's one down. I've got my auto cannon. We're going to reload it. Let's see, what else do we have? We've got more enemies over here on the other side. Oh, yeah, here we go. Some bombers, corvettes. Yeah. Uh oh, somebody's shooting at me. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Dog fighting is super fun in this game. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Hold up. Let's not get ourselves killed here. All right, so let's look for uh, a carrier or for something else that we can actually dock with. Uh, because you are able to dock in this game and get back into the carrier and maybe even fly different ships uh, from the carrier. Hold up. We'll take care of these guys first. Where'd you go? Got shields. And you can also swap between different uh, control modes. So you can kind of have like a Battlestar Galactica style, like Newtonian mode that we're in right now. Or you can kind of have the more traditional Star Wars. Um, so you can basically go back and forth and like toggle uh, whether you want to have like gravity assist on or off and pull off really interesting maneuvers. So right here, we're gonna disengage. And then we're gonna strafe this guy. Uh oh Oh, missiles! Ow! Die! Come on, reload, reload. What are those? Oh. <laughs> okay, so we were unfortunately destroyed in battle. Um, but this actually gives us a good opportunity to show off all of the different ships that you can kind of participate in. All right, here we go. Next wave. All right, so here is the USNV Swift. Um, this is the only ship that we have right now. 
and we're going to go ahead and we're going to deploy to the bridge. Now, um, this ship has not dropped out of hyperspace yet. Uh, it's currently headed towards the battlefield, and here soon it is going to drop out of hyperspace. And you can actually look outside of all of these windows. Oh yeah, I actually think we're about to exit warp right now. There are no objectives available. Here we go. Yep, here we go. All right, so we just dropped out of warp, so we are now in the battlefield. There we go. There's where we just were. So we are on this giant carrier right now, uh, and we're about to engage the the enemy station. All right, let's see if we can get to the bridge, and then we can actually... Uh, here we go. This way. Look at this. Yes! All right, so here we are. We're looking out of the bridge. You can actually see out of this entire ship uh, into... Look at this. There's there's the rest of the station that we're going to be engaging. And we can actually command different uh, different parts of the ship. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're gonna commandeer this entire ship and we're going to fly it. All right, here we go. All right, we've got mines. We've got uh, torpedoes. We've got uh, this charge beam. And, of course, we have all of our uh, infantry that are manning the different guns on this ship. Look at this behemoth. All right, so here we go. We're heading in. Okay, enemy corvettes are exiting warp. Which means this is about to turn into a massive capital ship battle here shortly. And as you can see, you can see that there's actually fighters um, and dropships uh, departing from my ship. Oh, here we go. Hold on, we're taking fire from something big. Oh, I think those are bombers. Are those bombers? Yes, they are. Where's that coming from? Oh, what is that engaging us? Oh, there it is. I see it. Yep. Let's engage with our charge beam. Oh. oh! Oh! I accidentally hit the station instead. As you can see, we just we just really beat up that station. All right, hold up. We're going to recharge our charge beam and then we're going to engage again. Here we go. Come on. Having trouble getting a lock on this guy. Oh, he's firing missiles at us. And we're charging. And I can't get a lock. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah, that hurt him. Alright. Torpedoes. Locked. Torpedoes away. There goes our torpedoes. More torpedoes. Charge beam. Oh, 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 there we go. He's down. Yes! <laughs> Alright, so that whole frigate just got destroyed. Alright, so we're actually going to get out. As you can see, you can still see out. You can see, like, everything from the bridge. Uh, but we're not going to fight from the bridge anymore. We're going to go grab a fighter. So we've got a whole bunch of different uh, choices here. We've got Katana Assault Fighter. We've got Interceptors over there. Um, we've got our Bombers over here. Ooh, I think we're taking a lot of damage right now. So we're going to have to get out of here soon. Uh, and then you can also customize your fighters. So we've got countermeasures. Um, let's see. We've got uh, let's see some kind of Ion Cannon. C90 Cannon. All right, let's do that. And then we've got uh, swarm missiles. Oh, looks like we're kind of over. Let's see. Let's take a look. Let's uh, empty that. Uh, and then we're going to put. So we've got mines. Uh, the secondary slot. Let's see. Can we. Large caliber rounds. Oh, no. No. Okay. Looks like. 
Yeah, that's it. All right, so we can have uh, a TT-402 primary cannon, and then we've got our swarm missiles as a secondary, and we're going to launch. All right, here we go. All right, so as you can see, this was the ship that we were just piloting earlier, and we just launched a fighter from it. So uh, hopefully you're kind of, like, getting the idea of what this game is capable of. Like, you've got these giant these giant ships uh, that you can actually pilot and that you can fly from. You've got uh, fighters uh, that you can actually board these carriers, you can rearm, you can refit, and then you can launch into space. You can actually fly to enemy carriers, board them, and then attack those carriers. Like, it's... This is a full-blown galactic space war uh, with full single-player support that you can play in first person. Like, there's just no games like this. There's no games like this, and unfortunately, this is probably one of the most underappreciated games that I've ever seen on Steam. Hold up, here's a target. What is this? What is that? Oh, hold up, who's engaging me? Come here. Where'd you go? Let's keep an eye out. Alright, so we're gonna assist this guy over here who's apparently under attack. So one of the main things that one of the main objectives of this game is we have our um we have our boarding craft and we basically have to assist our boarding craft uh that are trying to board uh both enemy carriers and also the station. Oh, looks like we've got some enemies over here as well. So we're gonna move in and we're gonna hit these guys with uh swarm missiles. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, these Corvettes. All right, we really want to stay on our feet here. Oh, <laughs> we didn't last long. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, um, this is a really cool game. I wish I could show you every single things. Every every single thing in this game, but it would take it would take forever to show you all of the different like mechanics. It really is amazing. Like the amount of replayability is is fantastic, and the amount of things that you can do, and the amount of ships that you can play as is it's I don't know. It's an absolute blast. And they've actually still been uplaid, up updating this game uh, a little bit with some more features. It's I don't know. It's this is kind of like a testament to developers that just love their craft and to love their game and the single player support is amazing it's a big inspiration for me i really want to make sure that all of my games over time have single player support so no matter how many people are playing them you can always have a good time but single player is hard like having really good bots is difficult especially if you're going to have multiplayer and cooperative modes at the same time that's something that's really difficult to pull off and i don't know these guys did it and I, I think everybody should really be impressed. And if you haven't played this game, you should absolutely go play it. It's really good. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, and as always, remember, Blue Jack loves you. All right, cheers, boys.